can feel it, but I've loosened up your thumb. Yeah. And all I'm doing is, is not allowing it to lock this way, uh -huh. but I'm, I'm giving you that feeling that it's a little more rounded. Rounded. You feel that? And now you have a soft thumb, yeah. and it softens the rest of right. your fingers. My partner used to just like squeeze the mm -hmm. sound. So it it's getting be... better. It's much better. Yeah. So you notice but you started doing this with your hand <laughs> you remember because, to open the <laughs> and and it's good because uh -huh. see your hand was thinking vibrato yeah. and it was loose and relaxed uh -huh. um, which is al now allowed to happen because this is loose in here yes right so the importance is not to squeeze but if I use the uh, more relaxed the way to do it yeah so we're building the muscles in here in in your knuckles so that they come down like hammers tendency if if I'm really tight in this hand I'm going to be tight in this hand. So, both yeah. so, so this hand you're going to when I loosen this thumb that thumb is loosening too.
around. Yeah. Now, one other thing that I would recommend. So we talked about um, stacking on your left foot. Yeah. One thing that we haven't talked about is anytime you create a position, mm. um, it creates tension somewhere if, if you're stuck. Yeah. So now the next thing to learn is now that you're stacked on your left foot, yeah. to be able to move to your right. The, the main balance is in your left, yeah. but to be able to start feeling like you are loose as you play, yeah. so that you're not just stuck like this, right, right. but to start feeling motion yeah. in your body as you play. Uh -huh. Just for the whole body relax. Yeah, so that, yeah. So that you, and you're enjoying the music more because you're, you're actually moving with the music. You know, Right. Uh -huh. right? Instead of oh, just, like a, just like a gun, he's not a soldier. <laughs> because this can happen right when this is locked you, you can only do this I see right but this really frees you up so this has to loosen up oh yeah and then you use this mm -hmm. okay so the final sound <laughs> I practice uh, I skip some of it I practice this technical so like a long 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 ago right there uh -huh. now let's look at the technical part of this this okay. is a really really good song for technique uh -huh. um, see how it says W B U H W B L H. oh yeah so now what we want to start developing is um, a reactive energy in the elbow I see. okay uh -huh. so what that means is that you really want to start from this end of the bow and get to that end of the bow right oh. da, 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 
Thank so you. using the whole bow. The whole bow, I use this pattern. Yeah. So try to keep your, your tempo the same. Don't slow it down, yeah. but speed up your elbow. I see. Yes. You have not made it to the tip. Try, try just, just on an open D string. Just go D. between when you're turning it into an exercise yeah. and when you're playing it Music. musically. Music. Primarily right? you can be more free. So. Yeah, yeah, and you don't have to. But that is something that you want to learn how to develop, is yeah. that ability to use that whole bow, all of yeah, it. Yeah, all of it. Um, and also and create with that the energy. Right right. Yeah, with the, the right energy tempo. in the elbow. Yeah. Now, what what was happening was you're going da da da, da yeah. right? Um, try to make your eighth notes, uh -huh. uh, your faster notes, close to half a bow. So da 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 uh, da 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 right. da, so that everything is being given um, the same amount of momentum. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. So instead of just da, da, <laughs> da, right, 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 da, right, 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 da, right. 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 So you want to do, um, you really want to do the upper half and the lower half, lower half. as a half. Right, right. It's it's yeah. called a half, right? The upper half yeah. and the lower half, not the low, the upper inch and the lower inch. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the next step in terms of working with this. Yeah. And you'll see that in a lot of these yeah, pieces here. Yeah, if you have here. a pen, I would like uh, maybe to 